for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD program. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational and the research data we've gathered so far is today. Research assistant Thornton was calibrated in the coordinating chamber and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It was like uh, something was talking to him. And he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight. It took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure he was living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab. We have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of work.
Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Audio log for Jack Smith, benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate it out of the parent power source. It shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running. And shut down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on the benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because, of course, the is breaking down on a daily basis.
like startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The hydra got blown a few circuits and was unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. Safer world clip. For centuries, war over two things vital to you. and hydrogen cheaply and safely without the need for large amounts of electricity. Here at the UAC, we make the world anyone. I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage. Please, please help me.
since the dawn of the space age, Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, but pushing those developments. Team reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head to engineering and try to link up with them in sector three. Stay close. 
This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia. Dated November 1st, 2145. I'm writing this report because I'm frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees. The last five guys they've sent me are all a bunch of idiots. I can't get any of their work done on time. I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work small, they don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to 123 because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot. I don't understand why HR can't get Please execute the full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log.
toxic gas levels decreased 50%. Gas is cleared. Waste disposal area now safe for entry. Marine, we gotta pick up the pace. We got more men down. Bravo team is barely holding their own. This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia. Dated November 1st, 2145. I'm filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me are all a bunch of idiots. I can't get any of them work done on time, I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow, they don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to 1, 2, 3 because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot it. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log.